Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this week's video, I will make a first part of our Zoho Creator tutorials. We will make a whole bunch of these tutorials, but this one will be the basics of Zoho Creator and the basic functions that you can use here. Before I begin this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button not to miss any useful information that we share here. So when you open Zoho Creator, you can see the list of your applications. This will be empty when you first download Zoho Creator, but I wanted to show you some of the basic apps from the templates that you can create using Zoho Creator. So as you can see, this is a fully functioning sales management app that you can easily download from the whole bunch of different templates that I will show you a bit later on into the video. But I just wanted to show you the interface of this app and you can also customize it to the specific needs of your business. And now let's click on new application and create our first application together. As I already mentioned, there is a whole bunch of different kinds of templates that you can use. When you click on the template for the app, for example, for sales management or event management, you can see the functionality of a certain app. And again, there is a whole bunch of different categories and different kinds of apps that you can easily create and download and then customize it to the needs of your business. So there is ready-made templates for information technology, business, sales and marketing, education, finance, customer support, project management, human resources, non-profit and personal apps. But we will create an app from scratch. So you have to click on the icon of plus and let's create our first test app. When you press on create, this new window will appear. And first thing that we're going to do is create a new form for this app. And this is the basics of any apps in Zoho Creator. So let's click on the button, create a new form, and you will see a lot of different options on how can you create it. You can create it on your own from scratch or importing with data. The next option is to create a form from a template that you can also easily customize and there is more than 50 different templates for the forms. And also there is an option of using an integrated data source that includes Zoho and third-party developer apps. So let's have a look at a different form templates. They are categorized by different categories, for example, forms for booking, business category, construction, education, human resources, IT category, medicine, personal registration, and much more. And now let's go back and see what integrated data sources you can use to create forms. They include QuickBooks and Salesforce for third-party developer apps and some Zoho apps like Zoho CRM, Recreate, Projects and Zoho Bug Tracker. I will talk about the integrations in our next videos and next tutorials, but now let's create a form from scratch. So first of all, you need to name your form and then a form builder will open up. This is a drag and drop form builder, which is very easy to use and very intuitive to navigate. So on the left side, you can see all of the different fields that are categorized by basic fields, advanced fields, special fields, and AI fields. So let's drag and drop our first field, which is a name field. So there are field properties that includes the field name and field link name. And it's very important to remember that you can easily change the field name, but not the field link name after you created your form. Because if there are some workflows connected to this field, then they won't work if you change the field link name, because it will be triggered by the field link name and not the field name. And now let's look at some other field properties. For example, there is validation. You can make this field mandatory. And also for the name field, it's very useful because you can choose to have both first name and last name or only one of them. There is also some settings for data privacy and data security. The visibility, for example, you can show this field to everyone or admin only. There is also the field type, field size and the description if you need the description to this field. And now let's add some other fields, for example, the email field. It has other field properties. For example, you can choose the character maximum for this field and also add the data security functions and the user input. For example, for mobile, someone can put their email address with QR code or barcode. And now let's add the other field, which is a phone. And for phone, there's also specific field properties. There you can choose some country codes or add a default country code so it's much easier to fill out this form. 
Some other basic fields include the single line, multi line, number, date, and time. But I wanted to show you the checkbox field because it has some interesting field properties that I wanted to show you. So let's quickly drag and drop the checkbox field into our form and go through some of the field properties. So you can see that there are some default choices that you can change the name of, but there's also advanced options for choices. For example, you can import predefined choices or copy choices to the clipboard. And importing the predefined choices is a very useful function. Because, for example, if you need a person to choose some of the states that they are operating in, you don't have to write down all of the states as options. You can use the predefined choices and it will automatically be added and it's simplifying the process a lot. If you want, for the ease of use, you can also make these choices in alphabetical order. You can also make this field mandatory and all of the other field properties that are existing in other fields, they are also here, for example, the description. Now let's go through the advanced fields. Some of the advanced fields include the decision box, rich text, URL, image upload, percent, currency, decimal, date and time, subform, lookup. There is also video and file upload and some others. But I wanted to talk about the field of image upload because it has some interesting field properties. So let's drag and drop it into our form and see what field properties it has. So first of all, it has the browse options. So for example, you can upload it from local computer, link and a camera. And for mobile preferences, you can also choose some options. For example, allowing to switch the camera, enabling photo gallery, showing preview screen, submitting form after capturing, adding an annotation, enabling the timer or getting input before the form is displayed. Moving on to some other fields, there's also a date and time field. So you can choose either two separate fields, the date or the time field, or you can choose the advanced field, which is date and time combined in one thing. Now let's move on to the file upload field because it has some interesting field properties. For example, there is browse options so you can upload files from local computer, but you can also enable the Zoho work drive or Google Docs. And some other advanced fields include the subform, lookup field, signature, audio and video upload, and also auto number and formula. Moving on to special fields, there is selection, adding notes, users and integration fields. About integration fields I will talk about in the next videos where I will talk about the integrations. But now I want to talk about the user field where you can add the users and add the usernames for the people that are using your app. And I also wanted to show you how easy it is to delete or add the fields. Again, this builder is very easy to use. And moving on to the last category of the fields, there are more advanced fields with prediction, keyword extraction, sentiment analysis, OCR and object detection fields. So for example, you can add the object detection field if your customers have the damaged package, they can send you a picture and the, this function will detect the object in the picture. So that was a quick walkthrough, but if you want a more advanced video diving deep into the properties and also the functions of all of the fields in the form builder, let me know in the comments below and I will make a separate video specifically about it. So we talked about the field properties and now let's talk about the form properties. So on successful submission, you can add the message and also you can customize and send an email notification or redirect the person that filled out the form to a page. Sending an email notification is very easy to set up. It will be sent to the admin user and also you can customize the text of this message. There's also some options for location data where you can capture the location or capture the API address of the person that fills out the form. You can also customize the buttons while adding the record or while editing the record. And also the confirmation of form submission, you can open form submission confirmation pop-up when entering the key is pressed. You can also enable users to save form as draft and resume editing later, set up a role hierarchy, and very important function is restricting form entries, for example, enabling CAPTCHA, allowing one entry per user, allowing one entry per API address, or enabling geofence. If you're making an event with a limited number of participants, this function of closing the form after a certain amount of entries is very useful. 
or also you can set up a start time and end time of this form. So that's it for the basic walkthrough of the basic functions of Zoho Creator. I will make more advanced tutorials in the future. If this video was helpful for you and you want to see more content about the Zoho Creator, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button. And also, if you want to learn more about Zoho implementation, integration, service, or technical support, you can book a free consultation with one of our experts by the link down below. We also create custom solutions using Zoho Creator, so make sure to contact us to learn more.